Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to a week in my life vlog. It's Monday morning. It is 7 a.m. I'm meeting Macy right now. We are getting coffee and going on a nice walk, and then we're both scheduled for the same weightlifting class. So that is my morning. Nice little morning. Oh my god. This weekend was really fun. I feel like all my weekends at home are really fun. It's hitting me now. I didn't even do anything crazy for the Super Bowl. I just went to my parents' house, and I'm like so tired. So. How are you feeling? <laughs> I actually hate this sometimes. No water. Iced coffee. Y'all, so we just finished our walk and we made it to our workout and we're just sitting in our respective cars putting off going in because we realized that they have the bands up, which means it's pull-up day, which is the worst day ever. Besides the fact that last time I did pull-ups, I realized that I'm literally a bodybuilder, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to it, but it's really killing our vibe this morning as girls who are just now getting back into the swing of things and had a wild weekend, and we're starting off with pull-ups, okay? It's the worst part of working out. Actually, honestly, no burpees are the worst part of working out, but... It's gonna be something. Macy is not happy. Wait, let's see. It literally looks like you're in my car. Are you excited for the pull-ups? I just caught my pimples. Oh, sorry. Guys, I'm not. No, I know. I'm not having it. No, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> the bands. Yeah, what if I don't need the bands? What if I'm actually just too strong? Sorry, busy being a bodybuilder. All right, guys. Just got off some of my morning meetings and I'm ready for the day. We're now going house hunting. Oh, I guess I haven't really updated you on the vlog yet, so we'll talk. I updated TikTok this morning. Yes, I am wearing a juicy tracksuit and Ux to go house, I was gonna say house sitting, to go house hunting. I don't know if I'm gonna find a place that I like love today. We'll catch up in the car. We have a lot to catch up on actually. We'll see. I still need to like wait a second, like a couple weeks, because I want another 1099 because it'll help. Anyways, we're off. This is my outfit. It's very me. It's obviously juicy. It's the best thing ever. These tracksuits are fabulous. Alright, so to catch y'all up. When I got back from London, I know I mentioned this very briefly in a vlog, I think, but when I got back from London, I just was on a walk and I've been thinking about buying a new house for a while. And originally I thought it would be, you know, end of this year, next year. And then I actually was just on a walk trying to figure out like what neighborhoods I want. So I would like go to that neighborhood, walk around, see if I liked it, whatever. I found basically my dream neighborhood that's just not very, like weirdly not very talked about in my area or like Dallas in general. And I'm also like really changing what I want in a house. I don't want super modern. I do want open. I want it to be really good for entertainment. I want a podcast studio because that will one, save me money long-term, but also just make the show better. I need a guest room. Like there's just like a lot of things that I don't need, I want. And I feel like I'm just outgrowing the townhouse. It's already, it's too small for what I need just work-wise because I do so much work out of my house. Oh, and I also really want a yard. So there's like a lot of things happening, okay? So I just went on a walk and I happened to see this open house went in and fell in love and I put an offer in within like the hour which I wasn't planning on doing but it just worked out and then I went to best and final and I went really over what they were asking and a cash offer came in like right last minute so they ended up finally getting that house I've been checking every day pending I'm like I'm literally gonna watch her on their ass just kidding for legal purposes this is a joke um but I really wanted that house and I was like this is my first like real estate heartbreak because I just somehow have always gotten lucky. Like I've always gotten lucky with my houses and that was my first time that lucky girl syndrome was just not hitting, you know? So long story short, I did find my dream house in my dream neighborhood and then someone else got it. And so now I like took a few weeks off of looking. Well, not even took a few weeks off. I've just been traveling and I was just waiting for that offer to fall through and it didn't. And now today I'm with my realtor, Melanie Bray, Phil Aaron Dallas, um, or just Texas in general, Bray Real Estate. Uh, Melanie is like one of our really close friends. She sells to like all my friends, all my family at both sides like we are always buying from her i filmed videos in the past too where i've like toured houses and stuff with her but today 
it's real. And if I don't love these houses, I'm not putting an offer in. Like I have to find something that I absolutely love. I'm in no rush. I love my townhouse. I love where I live. I love my area. I do have certain areas that I will live in and that's it. I'm like, I'm looking for like more specific, like I want privacy. I want it to feel more cozy. I want it to be more secluded. Like I, I have a vision and I will not stop until this vision is made my reality. So anyways, yes, we are house hunting. We are looking. Could I move next week? Well, it wouldn't happen that quickly. I could move next month. I could move six months from now. It's really just gonna be when I find the perfect house and I'm very particular. Um, so I'm not settling is what I'm getting at. So we're house hunting today, guys. It's very exciting. This week, my nephew is being born. My stepsister's getting induced. So it's just like a big, big week in my house, truly. Thank you, house number one. I know. Also, I don't even know what I would, well, the, uh, there's not popcorn ceilings, but just making sure. Oh, I didn't even see this bathroom. Oh, Jack and Jill, I just somehow missed that. I don't know how. The rooms are big for an older home. And I do like this office space because I like the French doors. Just to have, that's nice. Like, I'm not obsessed. I like that it's more traditional, less modern. Okay, this is laundry, whatever. Bathroom, there's things that I would change. Not the worst closet. Big room. And then out here, that's not a guest house, it's a garage, but there's like a patio and stuff. And then the living room's big, so. It's a contender, it's nice. Does it smell like gas? Yeah, it does. I like that this is open. The kit. oh yeah, the kitchen I would like redo. Actually a pantry. Oh, that's cute. I would like that. In the lighting is. Okay, the thing about this pool. Okay, this I actually really like. Like the house is a little outdoor cover. Yes, and like I love this. Like that's sick. But okay, look, the backyard. I knew that this was gonna happen. There's no grass. It's just the pool. I don't know. Like no. And obviously a pool would be amazing, but there's no grass. Yeah, I like the size. You could build this out better. Like obviously having a pool would be very ideal, but this would be studio probably, just because I could have a front door for access, yeah. So front, guest room, bathroom. I would wanna redo the bathroom. Sedition. Yeah, I mean I would paint, but I, like I like that there's more charm. I like that there's a fireplace, thank God. The, oh, I loved this breakfast nook. The kitchen's great. I would change some of the stuff, but this is so cute. There's a little sun, yeah, breakfast space. The yard is good. I like that it's like a more cottagey feel. Yeah. So I think Add an island and you would have so much more. So this one's more of a backhouse. Laundry. A small fridge. And I like that. Nice. Yeah, I like that this is. It's cute. What is. Oh, it's a door to the. Is that like a side yard? Oh, side I mean, that's convenient dog wise. Yeah. I think the front is the master. I mean, I wouldn't put the front. Like, yeah, this is definitely. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I mean, this is like way smaller than my. Oh yeah, and I like the bathroom. Yeah, I like it. Oh, there's a bathroom out here. It's so, like a full guest suite. And that was three bedroom, right? Yes. Yeah. This is very cute. Yeah, there's more side yard on both sides. Ooh, just step down. Oh, wow. This is cool. Yeah, I really like this. Look, you can do your studio here. Yeah, actually. It's bright. It's not. Oh, it's a garage. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is cool. 
That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's oh, really cool. So this is cute. This is actually really cute. I love how it's open. There's a step. It's cozy still. Wait, I like actually love this. Yeah, very, really cute deck too. I like this. See, you know what's crazy? I actually plan on doing wallpaper in my next house, but not this wallpaper, but the clothes laundry. Oh, that's convenient for when I'm, I would add an island. What do people have against islands? Have you noticed that? Oh, I know. They're really like a traditional look. Yeah. I like, I also like how it's open, but then the rooms are separate. But this one's like well kept. Yes. A lot of yeah, it yeah, really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember hating this, but that would go. Oh yeah, I actually really like this. The storage is good. This has natural light behind it. Oh, and look, it's got like a really nice. I like that it's just big though, like that. I don't know, that's what I was trying to think. I mean, I want to see the yard because maybe I would just build a... Yeah. See, this is a great... I know, that's the whole, all I care about. Yes. See, that's cute. So the issue is that I wish that like some of these just didn't have garages and they just had guest houses. Cause like you can't do it in a garage cause it has to have natural lighting. Okay, this one. Like I love all of that. There's like too much going on to. But think plain. Like, yes. Like, all of the furniture and stuff. Maybe a little bit. I love that. Bit. It's just cozy. It's just bizarre. It would be kind of cute if you did it like the schmear to kind of blend it. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like the white smeared brick. Oh, it's nice to have one of those. I didn't have one of those. It just is a lot, it's like pretty closed off. Sharing bathroom. So is that master? Yes. Yeah, it's definitely master. Lots of bedrooms. The, uh, just the other one, the last one just felt nicer, like the actual stuff. But I do like that this is cozy. I want to see outside first. Oh yeah, this was the one with the great backyard. Okay, it's... See, that's nice. So they have a place for, I guess, the dogs. There's a dog house. Yeah, that. I'm like, leave that. That's cute, right? Like, but they're gr- Oh, that's definitely turf. Turf, yeah. But it's not a lot. Wow, this is pretty nice. It's really big. There's a built-in fireplace, too. But. It's cozy. It's like a weird game room almost. Like, I guess it, somehow it would, I don't, I mean, it's like a cute nook, but I need it for other things, you know? This is really nice. A fireplace, I think. Yeah, it's laundry room. I love the kitchen too. Nice backyard, great for hosting. New concrete look. Yeah, they just redid this. Nice little grass yard. They probably, because of the new concrete, they probably put a slab underneath so you won't have foundation issues. Which? Yeah, that's nice. Cute. Yeah, it's like a little Oh, yeah, that's nice. That, like, really cute. makes me feel like I'm old. <laughs> you know? Did you like that? No, that, like, it's like in a house now that I would have. I like this bathroom, though. My mom, this is my mom's favorite, but this is very her style too. Oh, is it? Like she likes the light wood with the- light. Yes. The bathroom is so nice. The closet's like not great, but yeah, my mom would love this. This is like cool though. I love this. This, especially dinner parties and having the doors open. You have like little cocktail tables. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. So, parking, straight in here. Yeah, much better. Storage. Oh my god, I would literally kill for this. Yeah, this is cool. Oh my god. It, yeah, me too. Like this is so nice. Yeah, like 
The pantry is huge, so. It's... So it's a three, two, almost 2,000 square feet. Nice. This is a good oh, the, oh my God, the master is so much light. And... In the back. Yeah. Yeah, no, cause, yeah. Wow. Sorry. No, it looks... Wow, I'm obsessed. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Is it actually a dream? Yeah, your brother's like, yeah, can I No, actually, he'll be here. And we... This is so sick. Like, this bathroom is amazing. Gorgeous. So it's two baths, so it's these two. That's interesting that it's like two big bathrooms. Yeah, it is. Look at the yard. Good grass. I was afraid of it. Oh, yeah. Washer dryer right outside the. And I like it has the clear door. It's cool. It's also good for entertaining when you can keep the dog separate. The dog oh, ooh. Yeah, it's cool. And I would build a studio out here. Oh my god, all the build. Oh my god. Wait, look at this. So you. And a. <gasps> Oh my god. It's so good. 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 I know, it's so nice. The Prairie Reading Housewife cutting board would go there. What, oh, whoa. Wait, what is this? Like just the air thing? Yeah. Wow. Do you think it comes with the, the appliances? Yeah, this is nice. I know. Okay, so I think we can all agree that the last house that we just saw is definitely the best and there's like horses near it's right above the water like and it's dallas proper it is just i mean it's a little bit further away than i wanted to be from like where i'm at now but honestly like when i'm thinking about like, the next like phase of my life it's like really ideal it's also slightly closer to my family that doesn't live in the city and the location is still really good it's just so nice and very cozy it feels more like you're in tennessee which is more of the vibe that I want. Like I want trees, I want like more of like hills. And I'm not talking like crazy, I mean like just slight. It's almost like Kessler Park-ish vibes, which I love Kessler Park, but it is just, it was really nice. So I really like it. I'm not like getting attached to any house. We're putting an offer, I'm going below and then I'll see. I think I'm putting an offer in, I haven't fully decided. I finished my stuff. Um, it's just, that is like the ultimate hosting house, which is really what I need. All right guys, I came home. I took some meetings and now I threw on a coat wearing the same outfit and we're going to Hudson House for dinner. Well, me and Lauren are. I'm very excited. I feel like I've barely even gotten any. Actually, we've had like no one-on-one -on -one time at all since getting out from Europe because our schedules have been opposite of each other. So anyways, going to dinner. I never leave my house on Monday nights unless it's for Lauren and Hudson House. Out of nowhere, it's raining. I have no idea where the rain came from. I was not prepared. I was not made aware. No clue. I'm getting Starbucks and then I'm going to Pilates and then I'm going to get my hair done. I need to get my nails done because they're like, they're painful at this point. Perfect. Thank you, can I get a straw as well? Thank you. I mean, y'all. Oh, first off, happy Valentine's Day. So that was the longest waiting I've ever done at a Starbucks thing for a water bottle. I think they forgot about me, which is fine, honestly. Whatever, I would I would forget me. I, I would do that if I were them. Okay, so now, now that I'm just thinking, because I want, not, not that it's back to the house talk, but it is back to the house talk. I want more of like a Franklin, Tennessee vibe without being far from my friends. And by far from my friends, I mean, or more than like seven minutes away. Like I live in such a prime location in the middle of everyone. And Lauren and I currently live like a minute, 30 seconds away from each other. But I have to think about the future, whatever. So I'm just thinking like if I was getting up in a neighborhood with huge trees and it was cozy and there were horses there and it was only 
15, 20 minutes away from my friends, that could change things. And 20 minutes is not far. But it, and it was not far in LA, but it feels really far in Dallas to me because I've just had such a good location. Anyways, off the house talk. Um, we're putting an offer in. I'm like 99% positive. But anyways, on my way to Shine Hot Pilates, getting my hair done. Probably won't vlog much until my hair is done because it is the same thing over and over again and it's not very entertaining. So I have to go because I have to listen to Ernest and I've been listening to Ernest literally 24 seven. Like I am just obsessed with that man. Like the music, his music is so good. It is now 4 p.m. I got my nails done finally. I feel like a new person. I will go to Castle Nails on Mockingbird. Like a lot of the time I've gone there like on and off for years and they're just so fast. Like I hate getting my nails done and it takes so, I mean normally it takes like so long. It just takes up time out of your day and it only took an hour. I also got my hair done. Um, it's just, I'm so grateful. I was thinking about this today that I can like work from wherever because it takes so long. Like when you have a nine to five, you have like that actually like really sucks because you can't, well, I guess a lot of nine to fives can like work remote obviously, but like I still am getting stuff done when I'm doing that stuff, you know? So it just, anyways, I just got a little color refresh and then uh, my extensions moved up. I go to my sister, Madison Piper Hair at Global. She is actually the best. I'm not just saying that because she's my sister. Um, like even when I like go and get blouse places and stuff, everyone always compliments my color and my extensions that actually does hair and it's from her. So anyways, oh my gosh. So I like feel really awkward now. Okay, I have to go, bye. It is later. I am so irritable right now and just everything is setting me off. And I think I'm just like so stressed with other stuff like going on, but Oh my god, like, you know when, like, no one in the world could do something right? Like, I'm just, I need to remove myself. I mean, Mason's coming over soon. But I need to remove myself from people. Because it's not them, it's me. It's definitely a me thing. Um, but anyways, I'm about to go through my closet. This is, like, I think will help me. And just get rid of, not get rid of, I'm going to donate so much clothing. Okay? And that's part of why Macy's coming over. So she can just take the bags. But I... I think this will help me. I, I don't know what happened. I just, like, something set me off. And, like, I'm never like this at all. Like, it actually takes a lot for me to, like, get angry. But I'm just, like, I, I don't know what happened. I, I'm not proud of it. I don't know what's wrong with me. So we're going to organize. <laughs> and then I'm going to feel better. And I'm going to get rid of a lot of stuff. And then I'll feel less cluttered and less overwhelmed. And I will feel better. So that is what we're doing. Also, this poppy set. These are so good. I don't think they sell these. I think these are just PR. But they should sell them because they are, like the best fitting like sweats are just so good. So anyways, gonna go through, just get rid of literally everything. Good morning. Today I am dressed like a PTA mom. So that's good. I actually don't know how cold it is. I'm about to head off to weightlift. Today I have a lot of meetings. I'm getting Botox. I have a workout. What do I have tonight? Oh, tonight I have book club. And then, guys, my stepsister is being induced with our nephew tomorrow at 3 a.m. So I want Sophie duty. I am so excited. Sophie has just been like unbelievably cute. Sophie's my niece in case you guys are new here. Very, very huge part of my life. It's like the main reason that I even live here. Actually, I mean, I love Texas, but like I won't leave because of her and I love Texas, but whatever. Um, she's been texting me like all week off of her mom's phone and it's so cute. Like I'm just so excited. So I'm watching her tonight. She's going to my mom's house and we're staying there. So I'm going to go to book club and then meet her at the house. And then tomorrow I will have a nephew. And I'm very excited. I obviously like won't be vlogging that. Um, I think Sophie and I are gonna make a home video thing, but I also, I'll show you guys this later, but um, I didn't vlog this last week because it was on Friday when I had like a perfect day, which is a ranch. I went on a solo day. I, I vlogged it for TikTok. I got them boots, like matching boots. So maybe I will vlog her opening these boots just so you guys can see because they're so 
cute. And she's gonna be so excited because her Dolly Parton boots, in quotes, what she calls her pink cowboy boots, she's outgrown them. So I had to obviously fulfill my aunt's duties and buy her new ones. These are red and they have stars on them and they're so cute. So anyways, gonna take the dogs outside and then going to get coffee. You both deal with stress well together. Have you seen them in that? Oh. Are you able to figure it out? Are you it's tough. Out? Thank you, can I get a straw please? Perfect, thank you. So I've been on a big Jay Shetty cake recently. I am obsessed with that man. His show is so good. And this now you know that I love him. I'm reading his book, The Eight Rules of Love. It's like how to find love, keep it, in something else. I don't remember the timeline. I've said this before, but I only recently was like, you know, I'll start dating again. And I am recording an entire solo episode on like my two years of not dating and being single and like what it did for me and how it was so good for me. I know that will be like a controversial take and there's people out there who tell you, you need to go on a billion dates and like get back out there and whatever. But like for me, it wasn't really about, it was like about healing my issues, you know what I mean? And then also I was just like having fun. It didn't need to be two years, if I'm being honest, but you know, I was having fun. I just didn't feel like it was where my focus was going. Anyways, I know I love this man because prior to reading this book and listening to some of his episodes on relationships, I like, you know how sometimes it's the best way to describe it. And I feel like in my early 20s, thinking about money really gave me so much anxiety. And so I would avoid it. I would avoid getting back to my CPA. I would avoid, like, I just would, like, avoid things because it just stressed me out. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was, basically. Um, and now I'm, like, way more, I'm really on top of my finances, but I finally, like, took control, right? So the same way that I felt about, like, hearing about relationships is how I felt about listening to taxes for so long, which is crazy. And I don't know, I think often too when i listen to like relationship podcasts and stuff it's hard for, it, it makes me like overthink everything and i'm like i just don't like i don't know jay shetty it's different i'm like listening to six red flags something like just because i love him anyways i'm reading his book and i'm like halfway through it i started it like like a week ago but i normally read those kinds of books like in the morning or during the night i read my fiction books at night and that's and i read mainly at night um and I love it. It's really, really good. A lot of it, like, there's parts of it that are, like, kind of obvious, but there's other parts that are really good. And I will say, this college that I went to was, like, also, like, part leadership, like, internship. And we learned a lot of, like, valuable principles. Not necessarily that I thought that they were... Actually, no, they had great relationships there. Like, I learned a lot about relationships there. So I feel like anything that I, like, knew already came from there, not from, like, anywhere else. I didn't grow up around, like, a ton of healthy marriages. Like, there's not, like, a ton. I mean, my parents are, like, remarried and stuff, and their marriages are fine, but, like, my parents are divorced and all that. But anyways, good book. Definitely recommend. I will be finishing it. I also finished The Housemaid. Um, The Housemaid is really good. It's our book club pick, and I totally get why everyone thought it was, like, the best book ever because there was a twist, but it's... Spoiler alert, skip like 30 seconds. It's literally la the last was his parish. Like I called it, Presley read it, and I was at dinner with her and I was like, this just happened, but I feel like it's gonna switch. And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, I completely guessed it just based on the fact that it was the last was his parish. So anyways, it was good, definitely. But like, if you've read the last was his parish, it's like pretty much the same thing. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm off to wait lift. Sophie is texting me. She's so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Like this time tomorrow, I will have a nephew and a baby in the family. I'm so excited. All right guys, so it's 10.30. I got home, showered, got ready. Well, I didn't really get ready. I'm getting Botox today, so I didn't do like makeup or anything. And I really need to tan. Um, I have a lot on my to-do list today and I was working on like house stuff today for the house that we saw this week. I'm prepping for the Matt Higgins stuff um, and then I'm just gonna get pretty much everything done that I can and everything set so that I'm ready because I'm leaving hopefully straight from book club to go to my mom's because then I'm gonna see Sophie and we, I'll have a nephew, she'll have a brother in the morning. So just getting some things on. I also, the the Nashville live show is sold out and that's in a few weeks. I need to pick up my outfit. Shannon was just texting me. I have literally no idea what I'm wearing. And then I, I also got these pants from New Markets, but they like are too big. So I need to return those. Actually, I need to figure out how I return them because they're expensive and I need to figure that out. There are still tickets for the Chicago one on the 27th. So if y'all want those, go. It's gonna be really fun. My special guest is Lauren Elizabeth. So, we will figure this out. Just got Botox, got Germani, Preston Hollow. I got them on my forehead and then like right around here for the first time. I always get Botox on my forehead like once or twice a year, pretty much like every six months. I went longer this time, but 
it's gonna be great. Hi guys, I'm back from Botox. It was so fast, the best thing ever. Like, Botox is incredible. If y'all are interested, I go to Germani, I go to Mariah. I mean, you can go to anyone, honestly, they're all good. I'm back home, more meetings. I had a meeting with YouTube. I'm sending it a bunch of 1099 stuff, working on taxes. I'm doing a bunch of boring stuff today. I have another call. In 30 minutes, I have calls for three hours straight. Book club got canceled tonight because it's supposed to storm, even though it looks beautiful outside, like it's 70 degrees. But we have too many people coming to like risk an outdoor thing because we can't go inside. I ordered flower child for lunch. I have like not been cooking and I'm like in and out of town or like someone's here or whatever. And I just need to get back into my routine. Like I will be home this weekend, but then it's hard because it's like I eat out on the weekends. I don't know, I need to like get it back together. I feel like my hair is just like so flat right now. I don't know, I like need to tan or something. Anyways, gonna eat this, listen to this Gary V, Matt Hagen's episode. Just got looped in with their team actually. Um, um, I had just have a design meeting. I have a call with Matt Higgins. I have just other meetings. No one cares, okay? Anyway, so that is it. I will talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you once I'm done with my work day. We've got three and a half more hours and I'm just like so excited for this baby to come and I just want to get my mom's house already that I'm like, all right, let's like get this, let's get this show on the road. Today is a great day, which calls for a bigger wine glass. Mom, you could stop talking to the dog. You cannot do that. She goes, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I heard. And it just makes because it worse when you keep saying it, when you keep doing it, you know? Because she was, that's her asking for a treat. She's and saying, ow, ow, ow. Wow, I'm stunning. Oh my God, like, you, I'm really having the best day ever. This is the best wine. Well, I actually don't normally get the rosé, but I just love Abilene. I normally do white, I do red as well. I literally do anything Abilene. Um, but I got my stepsister an ice roller because I've already given her so many like baby things so I feel like that's just like a better gift and no one's gonna get that and then Sophie's about to open well these are for Mateo my nephew and then these are for Sophie oh my god they're so cute can you guess what it is it's so unique it's for you and it's for baby Mateo so these are for the baby okay now <gasps> look these are for you okay you have to untie it like this I heard you needed a replacement. Let's just here. Okay, just wait. Mm -hmm. And then Mateo has matching ones, okay? Oh. oh. Wait. Oh. Look at them! Aren't they so cute? They're so cute, Sophie. I know, right? So cute. No, they're so cute. Hello? Hello? Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, really good. Hi. Here, Mita, I like Alexis. this. Uh, everything looks good cool so far. Okay. How are you? Good. Um, uh, me and Kenzie got up at eight. Okay, guys, it's a big day. It's, it's a my big, brother. big day. It's your brother. And it's his birthday as well. I know. So we're going to get cake pops in honor of Mateo's birthday. Yep. It is 11. And no we're going to see if they have blue cake pops. Oh, oh, good idea. Sophie and I decided we're going to get two drinks each. And we're going to get Grandma one. Yeah. Cody's at school, so we don't have to get him one. Yeah. So we don't have to get him one. So if I'm tired. Yeah, same. That's why I said to you. I'm busy and I'm sleepy. Mm -hmm. Sophie's enticing up her iPod all day. Yep. That's true. You ready? Yes. So I'm ready. Oh my gosh. What are you most excited for about having a little brother? Um, so I have no, because I don't want to stay stuck at home. <laughs> and I want to have someone to play with. Yeah, she's been saying that she's nervous because she's never had a sibling. Yeah, but you're gonna be the best sister ever. I wish you were my sister. I know. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we got all of our drinks. She's so excited, so hyper. I haven't, I haven't seen you like this in so long. It's like you're going to Disney World. You're really like an iPod kid today. I'll allow it because you've got a lot of energy. Okay, so we're gonna do a little Starbucks haul. Uh -huh. Sophie, do you wanna go first? Yes. What did you get? So I got a dragon fruit drink with, and a pinkity drinkity. Yes, so we decided to double fist today because today is a really big day. I got my coffee order and I also got a pink drink. 
Then we got a lot of food. We got bagels. We're heading back home. Hopefully there will be a baby in the coming hours. Yep. Good morning, guys. I'm officially an aunt of two. Yesterday was so perfect. I am exhausted. Like, I haven't been this tired. I could fall asleep at any moment. I went to bed last night at 7.45 p.m. And I woke up this morning at 8.10. Like, I slept pretty much over 12 hours. Coco is shaking. We're at Starbucks. We're going to the vet. She has a neurologist appointment, but I think she's just really cold right now. Slash, she hasn't gotten her pain meds today. Yeah, it's not time for them yet, so I feel like she's just cold. Today's Friday. Honestly, I'm so tired, and I have a big week next week. I'm going to New York, and then I also think I'm going to have to go to Austin, and then I have a bunch of other stuff going on, so I don't even know if I'm going to go out tonight. If I really just want to see family this weekend, hold on. You get a puppet Thank you. you get a puppet Starbucks. Can I get any breakfast items for you? Um, I'm going to just coffee, please. Can I do a grande iced coffee with two pump sugar-free vanilla? No classic? <laughs> no classic, and a splash of cream. Anything else? Um, and then a puppuccino, please. Well, poor little Coco. She's, so we're doing a, um, a checkup with her neurologist. I don't think she needs surgery. She has IBDD if you guys aren't watching the vlogs. Um, but she just hasn't fully healed with medicine. So like, she literally might have to go to physical therapy. I don't want to talk about it. Hi. Hi. Hi oh buddy. gosh. Okay, sorry. You're like, there's something for <laughs> It's a little girl. Girl. Like, I know. Yeah, so, she loves this place. Of course she knows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then can I get a straw as well, please? There you go. Thank you. Have a good day. Guys, so she literally might have to go to physical therapy, which is like so embarrassing. Like, really. I'm the girl whose dog is in th physical therapy. You know, that would happen. Guys, this week has been crazy. Like, I, it's so wild because my like manifestation board for this year, I put like really random things, and granted, it's been on my manifestation board for a couple years, and like all of this stuff is happening, but not in the way that like I would have planned for it to happen. Like just the most random things or people are like reaching out or business deals or whatever that like I would love to do, but I wasn't necessarily like making moves towards it at that time. It's just crazy, like so many, like, I mean, this honestly, like on Wednesday, by the way, this dress shampoo from Finish is amazing. Um, what was it, on Wednesday? It was like the best day ever. I got like the best news about so many different things, which obviously I'll take you guys along, but, um, and I am being that really annoying bitch of like, we'll see you soon, but like, I actually like, and I'm being even more annoying by saying I can't talk about it. Like, honestly, I literally want to die, but like, I just can't like talk to the camera right now without being like, guys, this is crazy. Like my manifestation board was just wild. Like I didn't even, I don't know guys, it's really wild. So good things are happening next week. I have a really busy week. And now that all this is happening, my life is just getting a lot busier. So I'm going to New York. I was already going to New York for like 24 hours next week to record like four episodes to just get them all in. Um, but also I think I have to go to Austin as well next week now to record a little bit more. I just, the studios in Dallas are not like necessarily my vibe. And the one that I like is just way more expensive. So it like count, guys, like I look like I'm 80. So it counts as like more credit. It doesn't make sense for me. I honestly, it makes more sense for me to just book a jet suite flight and go into the Austin Dear Media Studios and then things are like more cohesive, the video is better, everything is better. Um, and I can fly in and out. I'll probably stay Friday night, but anyways. Um, this weekend, Alyssa, my cousin, she's getting back from France today. So I'm sure we'll go do something. I'll probably go see my nephew again. Um, and then go from there. But yeah, guys, this has just been like, a very, very like monumental week. It's really wild. And I'm truly living my best life. I think I'm gonna curl my hair. I don't really like curling it. For people who ask all the time what I get for blowouts, I get a blowout like every single week at this point. And honestly, I just schedule them. One, I have a driver membership, and then two, my sister does hair. So like I'll go to her salon. Yes, it's a very out of touch thing to do, but it's the only way I can only wash my hair once a week. And even now it's like 
they, this week was like, I got my hair done, done, so it's different. Um, but I've noticed like a dramatic, tr sorry, just cut off, but she was like, your hair's actually really healthy, which is good. And I swear it's because I've been washing it once a week and not putting like too much heat on it. Oh, you know what? I also have this like restyling spray. Good. The next like couple months of vlogs is going to be so good. And I mean, it'll, I don't know if it's even going to be available still because we're doing like a print on demand situation, I think, but Breadwinning Housewife, Navy set, and the Pink Crew restock today. So I don't know when this vlog will be up. Maybe they're available. Um, I get, I'm wearing like the other, or most recent crew. I get so many requests from y'all to restock that Navy set. And we launched that like two years ago. So it's restocking today. Very exciting. Guys, look, just came in the mail. It is later. I had to run some errands. Um, I'm just feeling so tired. It's Friday night. I'm gonna go get drinks in an app with Maddie Trap, my lifelong friend, literally the reason that I have a YouTube channel. Um, but I need to show you guys, where is this actually from? Parker Moss? Like, so cute. Texas is my boyfriend, that's incredible. And it's embroidered, like this is sick. I love this so much, I'll be wearing this nonstop. I'm currently trying to get the cousins together for a little day, day drinking tomorrow. Because as it turns out, with the good things that have happened this week, I have a lot more travel coming up and a lot more there's a move to next week and I have like four days at home before I have to like get stuff together. So, I'm so tired and that is my producer. Okay, goodbye. It's interesting because we were talking about how both of us have taken like unconventional mm -hmm. paths. So it's funny to me that you fell into that of like the societal norm and the pressure mm -hmm. that so many people feel mm -hmm. because that's also just not you at the same not time. Not at all. It's you know? so not me at all, but it's also understanding. And this is part of what makes you so great. And like we've talked about it is like you were honest with yourself and you followed what you intuitively knew about you. You were like, I'm willing to see this through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is who I am and this is what I'm going to do. For me, it was, I know who I am and I'm going to always kind of like, kind of march down this path. But just in case, I'm going to keep one foot in the traditional bucket just in case. So within my marriage, I was still building a business. I was still pursuing careers. I was still like learning things, creating content, becoming an influencer, doing all of those things. But I was doing it within the construct of a marriage where it was like we'll still have a house and we'll have kids and we'll do this stuff and that was part of the tension 